Continuing on the custom card review street, we're going to be talking about a Dokkan Fest Sin Shenron that turns into a Omega Shenron and it's coming in from Sam. So before I go ahead and read the message inside the email as well as the custom cards, send me custom cards over to bhdevcustomcards at gmail.com so I get to your custom card in, I wouldn't say the near future anymore. I, yeah, so I can just get to your custom card because this card was sent about two months ago. We're catching up at a very rapid pace, so I might have to change what I say. Just send me custom cards. Um, so I can get to yours as soon as possible. I don't know. I don't know. I'll think of something new. Maybe not. I'll probably just use the same thing. But, uh, yeah. Uh, Sam says, I hope I cooked on this one. The smiley face. I skimmed through the card. And I'm not gonna lie. This Sin Shenron does seem pretty good as a two-way option. So, leader of the Shadow Dragons, Sin Shenron. His type is Extreme Int. His stats are as shown on the screen. He has a quite the high defensive stat and his leader skill is gt bosses transformation boost or power absorption three key and won 70 across the board and is 30 percent the stats slash 200 leader skill is going to be to shadow dragon saga or in human deeds and this is a peek at what the 200 leader skill is looking like courtesy of sam for leaving the link for me so i don't have to do any editing w sam um just out the gate i i would like to assume uh, I mean, I did skim through the card. I think they, there was something that had to do with a Shadow Dragon Saga category ally. I think. Or a GT Bosses category ally. I mean, you do have LR Omega, uh, but he wants a full GT Bosses team. And it's like, it's like you have this Dokkan Fest and Shenron, then this Omega. And I mean, this guy doesn't have an EZA, so hell no. Uh, I mean, a baby? Baby? Are we using baby? Yeah, probably not. Um... Yeah, the 200% of this is not really the craziest. The best unit on this team is obviously Broly. And then, like, second place would be... I don't know. <laughs> um, anyway, so his super attack, he greatly stacks attack and defense while doing immense damage to enemy and massively lowering their attack and defense. So massively lowering their attack while greatly stacking attack and defense. Very strong super attack effects. And his passive... He activates his interest animation and gets four key and 66% attack and defense for the rest of the battle. Okay, great interest animation buff. Anything that has to do with uh, stats and key, anything that you get for the rest of the battle or just says a, uh, a pure battle buff is really good. So this character also gets 166% attack and defense at the start of turn and gets an additional three key and 100% attack and defense when attacking. Nice, so just free key and attack when attacking while greatly stacking attack and defense, that's good. And this card also guards for the first four turns from the start of turn, nice. And he gets 20% damage reduction when his guard is activated. So he'll have guard with 20% damage reduction, great. While getting an attack and defensive buff from his passive to his greatly stacking attack and defense super attack effect while also massively lowering their attack. Uh, and he also debuffs super class enemies attack and defense by 66%. So granted, you are in a situation you're able to debuff the super class enemies attack. It's at 66%. The boss, that being the super class enemy, them super attacking you, are, is, that's not going to do no damage. It's no way because you're debuffing their attack by 66% while also massively lowering their attack inside your super attack effect while having guard and 20% damage reduction. The boss is not hurting you if you have that debuff up on that super class enemy yeah and they and uh he also seals the attack enemy if they belong to gt heroes or pure saiyans categories okay so just a free seal granted of course i mean it makes sense because it's omega uh and uh, performs well this is sin but it goes into omega but you guys get it <laughs> um he also performs an additional attack that has a 70 percent chance to become a super attack when facing a super class enemy and he performs an additional attack that has a 70 percent chance to become a super attack if that enemy belongs to the gt heroes category and he also performs a guarantee super when there is an extreme class shadow dragon saga ally on the team ah so that's what that was because i did skim through this card and it, i kind of remembered something and that was pretty much what it was along the lines of so this card has one guarantee super built into him as well as two additional super attack chances built into him so he could do up to three plus supers from his passive he has granted he's in the right condition let's just assume that this card is going up against the right enemy in the right condition so this card can do up to three plus supers one being guaranteed and two being additional super attack chances this card also can debuff from both his super attack effect as well as his passive 
that being a minus 66% debuff to attack and defense. I mean, granted, debuff and defense is worthless, but debuff and enemies attack by 66% while also massively lowering their attack and also being able to seal them at the same time, provided it's the right enemy, that being a GT Heroes Pure Saiyan super class enemy. Uh, that's super strong. That means the enemy's not going to be able to do any sort of damage to you. Granted, it's the right condition, of course. I had to keep repeating that. Uh, and this card also has guard with 20% damage reduction within those first four turns. And of course, when you activate the guard, that 20% damage reduction just procs. While also getting an attack defensive buff from uh, their passive, well, his passive, to his greatly stacked attack and defense super attack effect. While having a good uh, interest animation buff of four key and 66% attack and defense. Now, could he... Could he get killed turn one, like do turn one to like turn, I don't know, five. I feel like around like turn five, he's, he'd be sufficient enough to take, to take hits. He definitely would be. Yeah. Because once he loses, well, once he loses his guard after those four turns, he won't be able to have that access to that 20% damage reduction. Because of course you'd want to go straight into Omega, which makes sense. Yeah, absolutely. It absolutely makes sense. Yeah, no, this design is good because once that guard wears off and you don't get that 20% damage reduction anymore, you just transition over into Omega. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, because uh, his activation condition to go into Omega he can be performed starting from the sixth turn from start of battle, which is not too great, or starting from the fourth turn from start of battle and all allies on the team are extreme class. So once that guard wears off, you just go straight into Omega. Yeah, you definitely cooked love the design absolutely i would say i would say that this card doesn't have enough stats in his passive but what makes up for him not having enough stats in his passive is the fact that he can do up to three plus supers from his passive so he can greatly stack his attack and defense to immediately go into omega and be a god i think that would make up for it but the only issue with that well i'd say it's not really an issue for you to go up against a super class enemy that's fine that's an easy restriction to get by but gt heroes gt heroes is pretty dead in the mud right now what's the hardest gt heroes boss in the game right now i can't even think about off the top of my head <laughs> and he also performs a guarantee super when there's uh extreme class shot of dragon saga ally on the team that's very easy to get off actually you know what no yeah, no, this card's design is completely fine. I would say he doesn't have enough stats in his passive because all he has is this 4 key and 66% attack and defense as well as this 166% attack and defense. That's pretty much all he has for start of turn is his interest animation buff as well as his start of turn attack and defense buff. But then after he gets through, let's say you get lucky, you get those three plus supers, he's going to be looking very strong defensively. And who knows what he would be looking like offensively. Maybe he doesn't hit too hard because his attack stat for of course rainbow is pretty low 14,327 that is a bit on the lower end this guy's meant to be a wall until he gets to his post transformation and he hits like a nuke no let's just go and see what he looks like um and his links fierce battle brutal beatdown shocking speed gt shadow dragons fear and faith and big bad bosses in his categories is gt bosses shadow dragon saga full power inhuman deeds transformation boost battle of fate and power absorption so let's see what this guy's looking like of course on that fourth turn where he just goes straight into omega shenron so his new super attack effect he gains 100 percent attack and defense for one turn strong while doing immense damage to an enemy and massively lowering their attack and defense and he also gives extreme class allies 30 percent attack and defense so support 100 percent attack and defense for one turn while massively lowering attack strong super attack effects and he also gets seven key and 277% attack and defense. No, that's, I thought that was two. That's seven key. I thought those were together. Seven key, 277% attack and 777% defense. Bro, I'm too used to reading it together. That says 777% defense. Am I, am I crazy? <laughs> I know I skimmed through the card, but I thought this said, I thought this said, I thought this said two. <laughs> I had 777%. That's pretty nutty, bro. And he also debuffs his defense by up to 100% with each turn pass up to 500%. Okay. And he also guards all attacks unrestricted. 
And he also gets 7% damage reduction each attack performed up to 77%. Wow. And he also reduces superclass enemies attack by 7% attack and defense up to 84% with each turn passed. Okay. Um, I don't know how useful this would be. I don't know how useful this would be. It's very dependent on the boss. Hmm. Imagine this guy gets Gogeta in Vanilla Dokkan. <laughs> Anyways, um, Gogeta get his uh, attack debuffed, right? Imagine him going up against this guy. I'm pretty sure he can get his attack debuffed. I think so. Right? I'm pretty sure he does. And um, he also delays enemy action uh, once within a turn when performing an attack once per turn only. Okay, so he just has a free delaying enemy action once within every turn. So he does once within a turn, then that's it. Next turn, you get a free one. Next turn, you get a free one. And he also performs a guaranteed super attack when there is an extreme class ally attack in the same turn. So he performs a guaranteed super attack. And he also performs an additional attack per rainbow key sphere obtained and he changes str key spheres to rainbow okay for five turns from the first appearance so now granted he's only changing one type of key sphere to rainbow so he is a rainbow orb changer that gets guaranteed additionals he gets guaranteed additionals from rainbow orbs oh whoa 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 i see where you're going with this sam so you have him doing those additional normals with those rainbow orbs so he can build up that damage reduction. Whoa. And that's 11 attacks to build up that damage reduction, by the way. So let's say you get lucky, you get those four or five rainbow orbs. Uh, you can build up that damage reduction rather quickly. Yeah, W design. Yeah, W design. Yeah. So he's pretty much untouchable. Is he untouchable turn one? He's untouchable turn one. He has to be. Because he's stacking up all that attack and defense. Well, that defense mainly. And transitioning over into his Omega Shenron um, part of the card. And getting 777% defense at the start of turn on turn one with guard. And he also builds up all that damage reduction on that turn two. Wow. Bro, imagine you get five rainbow orbs and he just... He just... Yeah, he attacks... Okay, so he does his first super, and then he'll, so let's say you got lucky, and then he does five additional normals, and then he does an additional super, bro. <laughs> because those five additional normals will help him build up that damage reduction. Yeah, strong defensive guard. And he also can debuff the super class enemy's attack by up to 84%. Now, it's with each turn passed. Yeah, Gogeta might get cooked by this guy with double of him. So I'm pretty sure you can lower his attack. And he also delays. Yeah. <laughs> Strong design. Absolutely. I, you did cook. I think you cooked for sure. And his active skill, Master Ray's attack temporarily and causes ultimate damage to all enemies. So it's AOE. Cool. And he nullifies enemies super attacks for one turn. And it can be performed from the next attacking turn from first appearance. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. The only thing is, is that this guy's not probably not going to be hitting that hard he's probably not going to be hitting that hard but i mean offense doesn't really matter to many people in his day and age don't let's just be honest it's mainly defense like this guy's a he's a defensive dynamo because within the first couple of turns he has 777 percent defense at the pretty much start of turn and then next turn he comes back and he still has that high amount of defense with guard and he's building up that damage reduction so that once that defense goes from 777 percent down to 277 percent then he'll have up to like what 50 plus percent damage reduction with that defense and then of course he's supporting too he has a strong super attack effects great pass okay that's that's about it w card sam w card the only thing is that this card's probably not gonna be hitting too hard because his attack is very low but or it's, well, it's on the lower end but i would say i see exactly where you went from with this design and i think it's a w design absolutely but yeah send me custom cards over to bhf custom cards at gmail.com so i get to your custom card in the near future i'm getting all these older custom cards out the way guys i am very tired so if this video was sloppy i am so sorry i did not want to skip a day of uh, of a custom car review but uh yeah <laughs>
for those who made it to the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Uh, yeah, but yeah, I appreciate you guys watching. You guys are the best. I'll catch you guys next time. I absolutely love you all. You guys are the greatest. Peace.